About six o'clock, I uh, got all our gear loaded up and coffee and we were ready to roll. I uh, got in uh, well before daylight off an unroof site. I was behind the camera, I was in front of the gun. We found some birds right off this bluff line and um, you know, we knew, we were confident we knew exactly where they were and, and the way that they would come out of this, this, uh, this riverbed. You know, we, we started calling, talking to them nice and, and sweet and, uh, before they got out of the trees and, you know, it wasn't any time at all and here they were kind of marching. For whatever reason, 20 yards or so out, they, they hung up. You know, and that happens, but uh, lucky for us, there's such thing as spring jealousy. And wouldn't you know it, a few minutes later, here comes this nice little Jake. As soon as he made visual contact on our decoy, he, um, he had something on his mind, and I think it had to do with making a new girlfriend. Whatever he did, it was enough to to get those other toms from hanging up to, to coming in tight. Last day of April, Ty and I are down here in, in the hill country chasing these rios. And what you saw this morning was just about as textbook as you can get on a, on a uh, spring season turkey hunt. We set up probably about 100 yards at the most off this uh, bluff. There's a river that flows across this ranch right behind Ty. And we had located some birds early on in the season. You know, they were consistently roosting right here at this um, this part of the river and so we knew if we got in here early enough got set up uh, you know and they didn't have any hens we might have a chance and sure enough that's what happened you know I couldn't have been any more any more happy I mean it's just a great great spring season turkey hunt here in the central Texas one bird down and uh, it's only about 45 minutes after daylight